Ever since I was little, I've always dreamt of going to Japan. Exactly 10 years ago, those dreams came true as I boarded a plane bound for Tokyo. I barely even remember changing planes in Narita. Our destination wasn't the capital, it was Fukuoka, a city on Kyushu Island where I would be staying with a host family for the summer. This was undoubtedly the best few weeks of my life. I lived out in the countryside and my home was surrounded by rice fields. We wore yukata and played with fireworks, visited schools and made friends with a clumsy mix of languages. I had tofu absolutely ruined for me by a local vendor who sold it fresh. I have never tasted tofu that delicious before and I never have since. I'm honestly so thankful that I was able to see Japan from this point of view first, rather than visiting a busy city like Tokyo as a tourist. This short but sweet time shaped and solidified my love of this little part of the world. Four years later, I was able to go back for a weekend when I was studying in Korea. I got to see my host sisters, old friends, new friends. I've been back to Japan countless times since then, from Tokyo to Koyasan to Hakone, but never Kyushu. Now. 10 years after my first trip, I find myself back in the place that started it all. Here's a look at my trip to Fukuoka, a city that will always feel a little bit like home. I made it successfully to Fukuoka. I bought my ticket for um, the town that I'm going to tomorrow, which I'm actually gonna do a separate vlog about because I'm super duper excited about that city. I was really tired. I didn't sleep at all the night before and then I had to wake up really early to get on my flight. Um, so I honestly like took a nap. I went to the park and it was super nice because it was raining. The trees are really big, so people who were walking their dogs or like just going for a walk and they didn't have an umbrella, they just all huddled under the trees until it like let up and got lighter. And I just thought that was really sweet. And then I ended up going to a tempura restaurant that I really like. Um, I've been to it once before with my host family. And then as I left, it wasn't raining that much. And so I thought, mm, it's kind of a long walk home, but I'll just do it and then it as you saw started pouring like i have never witnessed before in my life but it was just so funny because everyone was in the same situation and so everyone's just walking or like pulled off to the side like under a awning waiting for it to stop but like if you made eye contact with anybody it was just unspoken you were just like what the hell is going on anyway i'm 
this trip to Fukuoka is really interesting because as I said in the intro, I came here 10 years ago and like July of 2009 is when I was here. And that whole time I was with my, my host family and we had tour guides and stuff like that. And then when I came back here for like a three day weekend in 2012, I was again with my host family and so they also just kind of showed me around. So this is really the first time that I've been to Fukuoka like by myself, like I'm in charge. I need to know where to go. I can't rely on a local to tell me where to go. Um, and I've been to Japan a lot, um, but I try not to like repeat places except for Osaka because I always go back there. So I just, I never came back to Fukuoka because I felt like, oh, I've already been there. I want to see other places while I have the time. But then I just decided, you know, like I, I really haven't been to Fukuoka. I've seen it with my handheld, but I want to really experience it myself. I'm still going to meet up with some people, which is really exciting. But I'm also very excited to experience the city uh, with my own eyes. I'm going to eat my mint chocolate chip ice cream. I have a early start tomorrow. Very excited. We're going to take a really fun train, which I love. Um, and yeah, so I will catch you guys actually on Thursday. Today is Tuesday. So yeah. Ooh, minty. Okay. Catch you then. Bye. <laughs> Good morning guys, so this is my first full day in Fukuoka. We're gonna walk around, probably do some shopping. Um, the area that I'm staying in has a lot of like thrift stores and a lot of coffee shops and stuff. But actually in about 30 minutes, I'm gonna be meeting a woman who was our translator when I came to study abroad. So I met her in 2009. I saw her for one day in 2012 and since then I haven't seen her. So she's a grandmother now, her grandchild is like a legitimate child is not even a baby like a lot has changed um since i've seen her so we are going to be catching up um so there might be like a hunk of the afternoon missing from this vlog because i'm probably i'm not going to film it but yeah i'm really excited to see her and um on the way to where we're going to meet i think we're in the ten tenjin area um there are a few shrines so i'm going to stop in there and um yeah let's uh let's go
No umbrella. Raining. Let's go home. <laughs> I just woke up from the hardest nap I think I've had in a really long time. I decided to explore my neighborhood, Daimyo, I guess is the neighborhood I'm in. I don't even know. Um, and yeah, I ended up just shopping. There are so many thrift stores around here. I ended up getting uh, a pair of earrings and then I got this billabong sweatshirt. I legitimately think that I had this. This might be mine. And I just saw it and I was like, I think I need that. And so I bought it, even though it's super hot, I'm wearing it inside because um, my air conditioner is like legit. So my host sister, who if you have seen my Busan vlogs, you know that she is living in Busan right now, but by some weird twist of fate, she is here now for like a short time. So I guess her and her friend who has a car, they're gonna drive me. I was planning on going to this kind of temple area called the Zaifu. Um, and so instead of me taking the train there, um, I guess I'm getting picked up. I don't know what's going on. I just know that Ayu is the best. And every time I talk to her, her accent is different. She sounded so British on the phone. Now I'm going to head over to the Hakata area again and check out um, just what it kind of looks like at night. And yeah, there's a, a shrine I want to get to before the sun sets, which might not be possible. Do you ever take a nap and like your face hurts afterwards? Like it, I, I'm in pain from that nap, um, but it was necessary. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna get dressed into cold things because it's really hot outside. And um, yeah, I will uh, catch you in a second. Gotta actually wake up now, so bye. Why do I feel so at home in this squid? <laughs> I'm like really happy. <laughs> at this point, I legitimately don't know where the exit is, so.
lovely lucky. I'm okay with this. Is it okay? So, so. It's okay. So-so. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bad fortune, be gone. Hi guys, I'm out again. Um, I spent a lot of time with Ayu, which was really fun, and then she had to go to work. Um, it was so hot um, that I ended up going back and taking another quick little nap, did a little face mask, just trying to cool off. Now I am out again. I'm gonna go heading towards a temple right now, and um, then we'll see what we get up to. Let me put you down so I can look at the map and figure out where the heck I'm going. So, see you soon. They're coming right for me. No. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I don't I don't I don't have food. There are so many cicadas and I'm trying to think of them as just like tree spirits making the like noises, but it's really hard. It's really hard. <laughs> Well, I don't know if this is just a Friday night thing, but um, right here across from Canal City, there's usually the yatai, the food stands, um, but there's like a circle place with a tree. Can't explain it. But there's like a bunch of lanterns and there was a concert and there seems to be like food stalls that are like smaller bits of restaurants that have come to like represent or whatever. So I don't know if it's just like a summer Friday kind of thing, but very cool, very chill. These are the moments where it's kind of hard to solo travel. Like you could sit and watch her perform. Like it's little things like that that I would like to have someone sitting with me. So, but we go on. It's like perfect temperature now. So I think I'm just gonna walk around a little bit more, check out Canal City and then head home. Ayu picked me up at 9 a.m. So I've been going all day and um, yeah, let's just look at the river a little bit more and then head on home. as you can see and um, I was feeling tired as I said and then I kind of was moseying home and then this man this like he was probably around my age just like runs up to me and he's like hello and I'm like oh god and he's like you're beautiful I'm like oh god and I thought that was it and then he was like put your number in my phone and I was just like no thank you and luckily the light changed and I could cross the street away from him and like zigzag but I saw that as a sign that it was time to go home and then um, it started raining right when I got on the bus so it was like perfect timing but anyway I'm going to uh, eat one of my convenience store breads because I love the chocolate swirly one um, and then I'm gonna go to sleep I gotta check out of the Airbnb in the morning and then uh, head to the airport so it was a really really good trip I think I'm, I'm actually really thankful that 
I mean, obviously that I met up with um, kind of my, my family and friends because maybe I just didn't plan it right. And maybe if I knew I would have more free time, I would have planned it better. But I feel like Fukuoka for me, other than shopping, um, the stuff that I did, like the Zaifu and um, seeing all the shrines, it was, it took a really short amount of time. So I think I almost had too much time in Fukuoka. Um, if I hadn't had people here I was meeting. I think if you're planning to do like a solo trip to Kyushu or like the Fukuoka area, it's smarter to plan day trips. Go to the Zaifu, go to Yufuin, go to Kumamoto, go like to a lot of different places. There there were like some other places I was thinking of going that were further. Um, I didn't even get to the beach, stuff like that. So it was partially weather. Yeah, I'm very thankful that I got to uh, meet up with everybody because that was really nice. Also, oh my God, wait. So if you casually mention to your friends that your husband really likes ramen, um, they're sending me home with all of these. They're all like his favorite kind, the tonkotsu ramen that Fukuoka is famous for. Yeah, this is basically what my suitcase looks like. This and tea and yeah. I'll sign off here. I will see you a little bit in the morning, just the flight home. But um, since I probably won't talk much, I will say my goodbyes here. So thank you so much for joining me. And yeah, thank you Fukuoka, I will be back. Um, I need to actually visit my hometown, Nakagawa. I'm really excited to see it again. So yes, I will see you guys next time in Seoul. And um, yeah, bye.